Holy moly. Anyways, problem three deals with moles and how moles are related to chemistry, and we will be using these to solve a bunch of problems. So, what is a mole? A mole is anything that has 6.023 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. It also is one mole of an element is the mass, the mass in grams is equal to the atomic mass number. So when you're using the periodic table, this atomic mass number is right here. So, 2.023 times 10 to the 23rd molecules in oxygen weighs 16 grams. This, in case you are unfamiliar, is the number of protons that oxygen has, as well as the number of electrons if it's balanced. Anyways, how do we deal with this? Well, what do we need to do to apply this to what we need to learn? What do we need to know? So, we need to find the molar mass of compounds. How much do compounds weigh? This is very, very important when we are working with like fertilizers and any kind of chemicals, any kind of additions that we need to make. So, what is the molecular mass of calcium chloride? So, we use the periodic table. I find out that calcium weighs 40.1 grams per mole. And chloride weighs 35.5 grams per mole. And if you look at my compound, I've got one calcium, and I've got two chlorides. So I need to multiply this number by two. And the total amount of what my molecule weighs is 111.1 grams for every mole of CaCl2. And the reason... I like, when I label moles, I like labeling what the moles actually are so you can kind of follow my thought process. So the next step we need to figure out about this is how many moles are in a certain quantity. So how many moles of C, or yeah, how many moles of CaCl2, calcium chloride, are in 5 kilograms of calcium chloride. Okay, so what do we know? We know that I've got 5 kilograms of calcium chloride. I know that 1 kilogram is 1,000 grams because the units for the weight of this one, the weight equals grams, because moles are associated with grams. So we now have grams of CaCl2. And now we know grams, so we know that it is 111.1 grams of CaCl2 to make one mole of CaCl2. So when we multiply this all out, we find out that there are 45 moles in 5 kilograms of CaCl2. So the next thing we can apply to this is we need to know the percentage. What percentage calcium do I have? This is going to be very important later. So what is my percent calcium? So you already calculated out. You know that this CaCl2 has one calcium, which weighs 
40.1 grams. And you know that one mole of CaCl2 is equal to 111.1 grams. So when you multiply this out, you end up with 36.1%. That is how much of your compound is calcium.